Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Michi Makes Up. Today I want to revisit, swatch for you guys, and do some lip demos of Lisa Aldridge lipsticks that I have in my collection. She made the announcement um, at the end of June that she will be releasing seven. Seven new luxuriously lucent lipstick shades, along with three new shades to her insanely saturated lip colors. Uh, and then she's also bringing back in that same formulation two previously released limited edition shades, uh, Rainbow Spill, and the other one is called Skyscraper Rose. I have not tried her uh, insanely saturated lip color formula. I'm told that the finish is demi matte. So I'm excited for that to see what's available, but I just want to say Rainbow Spill looks gorgeous. I am really into her bright pinks and magenta, you know, tone type of lipstick. So I think I'm going to pick up Rainbow Spill. Um, so the launch is going to be, I have some information right here, uh, Friday, July 8th. And that is going to be 4 p.m. UK time. So if you are just finding this out and you are interested, I do recommend um, setting your alarm, putting in your calendar. I can see some of those new shades just flying off the shelves or flying off her website. Um, I have, let's see, nine Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. Um, most of them, actually six of them, are from her Luxuriously Lucent line. And then three of them are from her um, velvet matte line and the insanely saturated lip colors are going to be demi matte and finish I'm really interested in that but they're supposed to feel really great on the lips uh, non-drying etc etc the luxuriously loosened lipsticks here I have painterly these lipsticks are satin but they're also a bit sheer so depending on the shade and how many layers you put on, um, your natural lip pigment can come through. As for what I'm wearing uh, already, I actually have a non-Lisa Eldridge lipstick, which I will take off in a moment here, but this is Merit. Uh, this is their signature lip in the shade Millennial, and I find that this pink is kind of my perfect, like, medium pink for my skin tone and my lip pigment so I, I chose to keep it on um, I have this on from a different video that I filmed right before but I chose to keep it on because I kind of want to compare this pink next to everything else we're gonna swatch so in fact I'm just gonna do a swatch here and if my bullet looks weird because it's moving it's because of this I was overly excited trying to clean the bullet and that's what happened um as for the rest of the makeup i do have two different eyeshadow looks on again from a previous video and i was testing guerlain's new ombre g quads this is majestic rose uh, i think by the time this video comes out i would have already posted the girl on video if you're interested I will have um, you know either a card above or a link below for you to check out maybe maybe both and then I also have her um, self-setting foundation on the shade number 11 which is suitable for light to medium skin tone and I have been out in the Sun quite a bit in the last two weeks especially this past week so when I first tried the sample card, I tried shade number nine and it was a great fit. Um, I've gotten more pigments since then and shade 11 now, so two shades up is also looking really nice. Um, it is optional to set this foundation. It is supposed to be self-setting and I actually don't. This is a foundation I prefer to not set and I think it looks really nice. I've also wore this foundation in shade number nine. Um, on an airplane and kind of for the whole day. So I was going on vacation, wore it on the plane. Uh, although I went to a cooler, less humid client, climate than here, um, it, I mean, it lasted a long time and I was very impressed. Uh, I also have her elevated blush or enlivening blush, excuse me, enlivening blush in the shade Pink Poetry on the cheeks. And then I do have her elevated glow in crystal nebula as highlighter so i have you know a number of lisa eldridge items on today um, and then now let's get right into the lipstick swatches and some lip demos so first i have painterly 
Painter Lee is kind of like a deeper plum red shade. It is actually not a shade I really gravitate towards, but for the right eye look, I definitely um, see this as a good option. Next we have Spirited Away and her Lisa Eldridge's um, inspiration for Spirit Away is exactly the Studio Ghibli animation Spirit Away. It's an excellent animated movie, um, which I love it, and it's actually one of the reasons why I bought this shade. I will also demo it on my lips for you guys. Not a shade I typically gravitate towards to or use, but again, for the right eye look, um, this is something that would work nicely. Then we have Rose Official. Rose Official is now getting towards more my ideal pink. And I think Rose Official has some perhaps similarities to Merit's Millennial. And let me put that on my lips as well. Rose Official is actually deeper than uh, Merit, but the formulation difference between the two definitely shows how pigmented Lisa Aldridge lipsticks are, and there's just something quite special and different with her formulation. Um, it is her claim to fame, and while it's not quite the same as Millennial, I think this is a beautiful shade that I like to leave on my vanity and actually uh, wear a little bit more often. Next is Kin Mischief, and apologies here, kind of sort of went into um, Rose Official a little bit. This is more like a pinky neutral, and I'd like to demo it on the lips for you guys as well. I think this is probably, Kin Mischief is probably more similar to Millennial than Rose Official. It is a kind of like a medium tone, uh, neutral pink. I'm hoping in her one or two of the seven new shades for this line that she'll have something even a little bit lighter and on the neutral pink side. And for these last two shades here, uh, let's start with Dance Card. These are my favorite two shades from her uh, Luxuriously Lucent line. This fun, flirty pink. So this is Dan's card, and I will demo it on the lips. Love Dan's card. Goes with the blush. It just, the pink, it goes with Majestic Rose, the quad. Um, even though you can still see my natural lip pigment, it's enough pigment to be, you know, undeniably this is dance card. Uh, it doesn't, because I have darker lip pigment, it doesn't kind of take away from the actual lipstick shade itself, uh, which is why I love this formulation too. And then for the last one, love of my life. Oh, this here. And I have to swatch it for you guys on my lips too, or demo it on the lips for you guys too. This is Love of My Life, and when I'm going for a look where the lips are kind of center stage, I want that to be the focal point. This is definitely one of the shades I go or I lean towards. In fact, when I first got it, um, I after demoing and doing the review, I had to like take it off of my vanity, but also hide it away just a little bit because every time I was thinking of like a pink shade that was brighter, maybe more suitable for summer, or just, you know, a brighter eye look to go with it. Um, I would always go for dance card or love of my life and it got to a point where like okay this is enough i need to use some other <laughs> some of my other lipsticks uh, so if you enjoy pink i highly recommend this shade her luxuriously lucent lipsticks are pretty comfortable um, they're not the most comfortable lipstick formula that i have but given just the shade how she just nails every shade uh, in her lipsticks 
and also um, generally for what it is it wears very comfortably and it is long lasting uh, without maybe having like a full meal and you know drinks and everything this could easily be on your lips for about four to five hours all right so moving on to her velvet lipsticks here we're going to start with um, velvet petal which I think is going to be her yes this is her lighter this is velvet petal and then we have velvet blush lightly just really into the pinks and my last one my favorite is velvet carnival oh sisters or cousins but this with that cool blue tone it just stands out so much and especially in that velvet matte finish I'd be curious to see how closely rainbow spill is similar to this hopefully not hopefully not the same and not too too similar because if I'm going to pick that up I, I kind of want that to be somewhat different from uh, Carnival I also actually picked up um, the Carnival lip liner to match this but I do want to put on I think velvet petal on my lips and then we'll move on to Carnival for the last lip demo And this is Velvet Petal. This is beautiful, this velvet finish. And it is as hydrating as it can be for this kind of formulation. Um, these will also last four to five hours unless you go through a meal. Um, I would even say perhaps even a little bit longer lasting than that because they don't have the same kind of emollient texture as the Lucent lipsticks since those are more satins. Um, but they really feel great for what they are and looking forward to comparing the velvet mattes against the demi mattes the insanely saturated lip colors so let me take this off and we'll put on carnival velvet carnival i'm going to well first show you guys the pencil it's a one-to-one -one match and she has um, the same kind of one-to-one -one match with her other lipsticks. Uh, we'll have links below to her website so you guys can take a look, but we'll line the lips first. This is everything that one can be passionate about lipsticks um, is that just undeniable, can take your eyes off of effect. Um, I, I think I wear this shade, this kind of bright shade, almost like neon shade, much better than I do with an equivalent red. And that's just what I find with my skin tone, my look, um, it's just this works so much better for me and the different you know, eye makeup looks that I might do than a red does. Although a good statement red lip is something that I occasionally strive for, um, but this is just my all time favorite lip color um, when it comes to something with a lot of impact visually. Um, well, I think that is all I wanted to show you guys and revisit with you guys on the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. Please look forward to that. Um, let me know below if there's any particular shade that I demo swatch today that uh, might also be on your favorites list. See you guys again very soon in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.